fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> phantom figure of the plains rode the trails of long ago to bring justice to the oppressed. Where he came from, no one ever knew. But his heroic deeds were recorded in the memories of the people of seven states. Even today, the cowboys sit around the campfire and relate yarns of his daring, of his speed on the draw when he meted out punishment to the lawless, of his great horse, Silver, the fastest the West has ever known. History does not record his many adventures, but the West will always remember the shout which has come down through the years. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, children, old boy. That little fellow. Out of waiting for us in the trail ahead. We have to hurry, old boy, or we may be too late. The Lone Ranger urged the great horse Silver down the trail toward Wells City, a typical rancher's community of the pioneer days. Ben Bush was the wealthiest man in town. He owned the bank, controlled vast sections of range land in the territory, received dividends from most of the other commercial enterprises. But for all his wealth and power, he was thoroughly disliked. He ruled Wells City and the surrounding district with an iron hand. And it was suspected, though never proved, that he had built his position upon a disregard of honesty and justice. It was certain that the sheriff of the county, Pete Crowley, obeyed his commands without question, and the lawman's reputation had suffered in consequence. In the first scene of tonight's Lone Ranger drama, we see Ben Bush speaking with Crowley in the cafe. They are seated in one corner of the large room and are careful that they're not overheard by the rest of the crowd. I tell you, I'd done all I could. It ain't my fault them two was rescued. I don't like alibis. But there ain't a man alive can do more than I done. You ain't done good enough, Crowley. That's the point. But I can't. Just remember, I'm the man put you in office. I ain't forgot that. I'm the man can get you out of office. I know, Mr. Bush, but what more can I do than what I'm doing? The job of sheriff means arresting crooks and guarding them, don't it? Sure, that's what I done. That's what I've been doing all along. I ain't asked you to give evidence against them. I've done that myself. Uh, They've oh, yeah, gone man. to trial and been found guilty. Yeah. But twice, when they was all set to get hung, they was rescued by some masked man on a white horse. But he rides like lightning. The way he handles them two guns of his, a man hasn't a chance to... I don't like alibis. I told you that before, Crowley. Well, I ain't alibying, Mr. Bush. You know as well as I do, that white horse is a devil on four legs. The rider ain't. He had us all covered with them six guns of his before we could say Jack Robinson. Then you should get some deputies that's quicker on the draw. I tell you, Crowley, I don't like the way things is going here. Who is that masked man, anyhow? I don't know. Like us not, he's an outlaw. Sure, wearing a mask like he does, he must be. Then why don't you arrest him? Get him tried and hung. But you can't find him. I'm heading men out hunting. Ah. It's the truth. I've had parties out ever since Lem Frisbee was saved from the hangman's rope. Ain't even found tracks, have you? No, but we still got men out. Rot. First thing you know, my enemies will get teamed up against me. Then now they all through in this town. I know. Maybe that's what you're figuring on. No, no Mr. Bush. You know that ain't the case. I don't trust anyone, Crowley. Maybe that's why I got where I am. Well, you we can trust me. I done what you asked me to ever since I got in office. Yeah, let two of my enemies escape. Like as not, the one that's in jail now will be rescued by that masked man before he's hung. He won't. You can bet on that. We've got guards at the jail night and day. I reckon we better go down there and make sure he's still locked up. Shucks, you be there. Neither of the others was took till he was ready to hang. Larson ain't even come up for trial yet. We're gonna take a look anyhow. Come on. Well... You want him? Ain't no use. You take my word for it. You're still there. I'm beginning to think your word don't amount to much. I wish you'd put more trust in me, Mr. Bush. Just a couple more escapes in this town, and you're going to be out in the office, Crowley. Mind what I tell you. Well, now, come on. Uh, let's go to the jail. Uh, Hi, Fred. Come on, sit down. Have a drink. Oh, no. 
like to know who that masked man is and what he's doing around here. So do I. He must be an enemy of yours, Mr. Bush. My enemies hang. You know that. Except when you get careless. I think we can leave the horses here at the hitch rack. Take far down to the jail. Yeah. Uh, you know, Mr. Bush, uh, I've been thinking. Well? You're sort of dissatisfied with the way I've been doing my job. Why shouldn't I be? Two men I figured to get rid of by this time are out free somewhere. Well, you ain't the only one that ain't satisfied with things as they stand. Well, what do you mean? Uh, I've been thinking I ought to get more money. More money? Yep. If you had an honest sheriff in here, you wouldn't stand a chance of getting away with the things you've been doing. Yeah? Well, get this, Crowley. Any time you get tired working for me, or any time I get tired of the way you do your job, there's a jail cell waiting to hold you. You mean... I mean I got evidence to put you in jail, same as I got it against my other enemies. Hey, look over by the jail. A white horse. If that's the same man... Hurry up, Blossom, this way. Use your gun, drop him. Get the two of them. They're getting to the saddle. I never figured he'd try and get Larson away before his trial. Three of my enemies out loose and all saved by the same man. Crowley, I'm beginning to think you're scheming things again, then. In spite of the efforts of Bush and Crawley, the Lone Ranger had effected the rescue of each of the three men framed by the pair. After his last exploit, the masked man returned to his camp with Steve Larson, the third of the rescued prisoners. Hold on, gentlemen. Hold on, gentlemen. Hello. This is Steve Larson. I just helped him to escape from jail. Oh, that good. Uh, I don't carry this at all. Who are you? I hope to be your friend, Larson. What'd you bust me out of the jail for? So you wouldn't be tried and hung for murder. But they didn't have no evidence against me. They didn't have evidence against the other two men, but both of them were ready to hang. You're the man that rescued them? Yes, Tonto and I. Where are they now? They're safe for the time being. Just what are you up to, mister? What's the mask for? I brought you here to ask questions of you, not to answer yours. I suppose I should be doggone grateful to you, but I ain't. I'm not asking for your gratitude. If I got tried and freed, I'd been all right. But as it stands now, I'm an outlaw. Yes. My wife is here in town. So's my kid. I can't ever go back to see them. My busting out of the jail is the same as confessing my guilt. You were accused of murder. Yeah, but I, I could have proved my innocence. Oh. The night Sam Turner was killed, I was at home with Mary and little Jerry. That wouldn't clear you, Larson. Remember, Ben Bush is against you. That scheming cold cat. Someday he's going to get all that's coming to him. That's what I'm working for. You know about him? Not all that I want to know. You tell me about him. He's got so much money, he does whatever he darn pleases. I've been told that. You had money in his bank, didn't you? All my savings. About $3,000. That's just the point. Huh? Frisbee and Slade had their money in his bank. That's why they were framed for murder. See, do you mean to say they weren't guilty of murders? No. But the evidence, what? Four men seen them do the shooting. Those four men were paid to tell the jury that story. By Bush? Yes. What's his game? Larson, Bush takes the money people put in his bank. Steals it? Yes. And before the money can be claimed, he arranges for the owner to get into trouble. And Sheriff Crowley works hand in glove with him. See, do you mean to tell me I'd have faced what Frisbee and Slade did? Yes. That there'd have been men on the stand that swear they seen me shoot a man? That's just what would have happened. Why, they don't... You call Bush a schemer and a polecat. What do you know about him? I know he never gives a man a chance to pay up a mortgage if he has a little, little late on yes. it. Yes. He swindles and cheats wherever he can. I always thought he stuck to the letter of the law. No, he doesn't even do that. What am I to do now? I want you to help me. How? I'm going to ask you the same question I asked Slade and Frisbee. Yeah? Will you stake your freedom on a chance that you might hang rather than spend the rest of your life as an outlaw? I don't savvy. As you stand right now, you're safely away from the jail. You can leave my camp and go where you want to. But you'll always be hunted by the law for a crime you didn't do. I savvy that. If you'll help me and risk being captured, there's a chance to put Ben Bush and Sheriff Crowley where they belong. And then you can return to town a free man. Life wouldn't mean much to me, away from my wife and kid. Then I can count on you? Yes. I suppose Frisbee and Slade decided different, being as they ain't around here. But I'll go in with you. They've made the same choice. Yeah? 
Gosh, and the four of us are working together? There are five of us, counting my friend Tonto. Oh, yeah. Larson, from now on, don't ask questions. Just do what you're told and count on us. I never thought I'd trust a man that wore a mask, stranger. But there's something about your style that makes me like you and trust you. I'm taking your orders from now on. The Lone Ranger had a definite purpose in mind when he freed the three men Crowley had imprisoned. In the meantime, the sheriff and his posse scoured the country in search of the masked man and his companions, but without success. The hunt continued for several days. Bush became incensed over the delay. At length, the banker approached Crowley in the cafe and spoke heatedly. I could really make a clean-up if I could count on you at all, but I can't. Mr. Bush, I'm doing all a man can do. Ain't found a one of the four men. Three. Four, including the masked man, have saved the others, or ain't you bothering to hunt him? Yeah, sure we are. A stranger drifted into town today and opened a big account at the bank. Yeah? If only I could count on you. The huh? next one won't get away from me, I promise you that. Yeah. There won't be a next one for some time. It takes a while for me to line things up. Hey, uh, Sheriff, tell you. Sheriff, come fast. There's been a shooting down the road, a piece. A uh, shooting? Come on, quick. Maybe you can get the hombre. Did you see anything of the man that done the shooting? Well, there's a man still there. He's examining the redskin he shot. He's a stranger in town. Not in my time. I reckon that's what he calls himself. Come on, Sheriff. Here's a chance to do something. I'm on my way, man. <laughs> Never mind, I'll see you later. You won't need your horse. It's just a few rods away. Listen to me, Sheriff. I'm listening. Well, don't run so fast. I can't keep up. Well, you've got to get there. It's a murder. If that man's name is Mark Heim, he's the one put a lot of money in the bank, see? Well, what about it? Here's your chance to make good on one thing for me. What is it? See that Mark Heim gets arrested and hung. He'll get arrested and hung, all right. If he's guilty. Never mind whether he's guilty or not. Make him guilty. You mean... I mean we can frame him same as we did them others. What's more, we got a real murder to start with. You're coming, Sheriff. Can't you come no faster than that? I'm with you. He's still there, standing looking over the red skin he's got. Like as soon as the engine's got the cash on him. Hey, you! Don't make a move. You're under arrest. I'm not going to run away. You're covered. Mark, I'm... It's you. Sure, it's me. Oh, you're Mr. Bush, ain't you? I am, and this here is Sheriff Crowley. Sheriff, I don't know who done this shooting, but What I... do you mean you don't know who done you it? You done it. You're wrong there, Mr. Bush. I didn't have no part in it. Don't give us none of that. You're guilty. Who else had shoot an engine? We ain't sure about it, Sheriff. We just heard the shot and ran up. I did the same thing. I heard the shooting, ran over, and the engine was there on the ground. I told the zombie to sort of stand around and watch, and I'd go fetch you, Sheriff. He's the one killed the engine, all right. Take his gun. Hold on, Sheriff. Ain't you being a little hasty? No, I ain't. And it's my duty to warn you. Anything you say can be used against you. I'll search him, Sheriff. That ain't exactly right, Mr. Bush. I'm the one. I said I'd search him. All right, then. All right. Just what's the meaning of all this, Sheriff? What right's Bush to search me? He ain't a lawman, is he? None of your talk now. You don't seem to have much money on you. You know blamed well where all my money is, Bush. I put it in your bank today. You did? Well, you know blame well I did. I don't know nothing of the sort. Hold on there. That's my receipt for the money you got. This ain't nothing but a scrap of paper. You must be loco, Mr. Markheim. Loco? That's what I said. I don't recollect you putting any money in my bank. Of all the dirty lion coyotes, what sort of game is this? Take him to jail, Sheriff. He's a murderer, all right. You can't do this. Come on, Markheim. That banker's saying I ain't no money in this bank. I'm innocent. You can't call me guilty. I'm as innocent as you are, Sheriff. You can't take me to jail. You ain't only going to jail. You're going to the hangman's noose. We got evidence enough to send you there. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. with our story. You will recall that in the first act of tonight's Lone Ranger drama, 
the banker and the sheriff of Wells City framed three men for murder, only to have them taken from jail by the masked man. The accused men were large depositors in the bank owned by Bush who intended to steal their funds. The Lone Ranger, however, had freed the convicted men as part of a plan to bring Bush and Crowley to justice. Then a fourth man entered the story. His name was Markheim, and he was discovered standing over an Indian he was accused of killing. That same afternoon, Markheim had placed a large sum of money in the bank. Bush saw another opportunity to frame an important depositor. Hold on now, Sheriff. Can't you listen to me for just a minute or so? Oh, talk fast, son. What is it? You ain't even look to make sure the Redskin's dead before you jail me for murder. We'll do the looking later. We don't take chances with murderers like you. Then make that banker give me back the paper he took from me. Ah, it wasn't nothing but a scrap of paper. I throwed it away. It's a receipt for the cash I banked in your place today, Bush. I suppose now you'll claim I ain't no money there and keep it for yourself. Take him in, Sheriff. Yep. Come on, Markham. What the Redskin? I'll go back and see if he's dead for sure. No, you won't. What the? The masked man again. You'll all stand right where you are. Charlie, if he gets this prisoner away from you, I'll have you rid out in town on the rail. I'm not after your prisoner. I'm here to take the Indian away with me. See here, you. You're under arrest. Big talk from a man who doesn't dare reach for his gun. Shoot him, Crowley. Don't stand there like a sniveling coward. Draw and shoot. Don't try it. I'm still holding one gun on you. Now's your chance while he's trying to heist the redskin on his horse. Go ahead if you think you can complete the draw. He's grease lightning with a gun, Mr. Bush. I'll kill my Now's your chance. Shoot. Shoot him. I'll try. <laughs> Give him Crowley. <laughs> Try again, he's still riding. Uh, Tain't no use, Bush. No. He's out of sight in the dark. That horse he's riding is grease lightning. What did he want the dead engine for? Uh, don't ask me. Well, see that you don't let the prisoner get away, blast it all, Crowley. Don't let him get away. <laughs> Ranger made no attempt to rescue the sheriff's latest prisoner. Instead, he and Tonto rode swiftly to their camp. There they were met by the three fugitives who had agreed to assist in carrying out his plan. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we are, Tonto. How did it come out? What happened, mister? What did you do? Everything worked out just as we hoped. They didn't even examine Tonto to see if he'd been shot or not. Can you beat that? It's just like I said. The sheriff's a crook and so is Bush. Not only that. They made sure to get the bank deposit slip away from Markheim. Bush done that, didn't he? Yes, and the sheriff permitted it. That means Markheim will be slated to hang, and he won't have a chance of getting away. Not unless the masked man gets him away like he done us. We're going to let Markheim go on trial. And when that trial comes up, the sheriff and Ben Bush will have a surprise. <laughs> had proved the dishonesty of the sheriff and the banker beyond all possibility of doubt. In the meantime, Markheim was put on trial. A jury was hastily summoned, and the evidence of a series of lying witnesses presented to the court. And Markheim drawed his gun and fired. The red skin dropped dead. That's all I got to say, Judge. That man lies, Judge. You're out of order, Markheim. Be quiet. But my gun wasn't even fired. The sheriff can tell you that. How about that, Sheriff? Might have been fired and might not have been. I dumped the cartridges out without looking to see. You're railroading me to the hangman's rope. That's what you're doing. One after another, the witnesses swore to the same story. Markheim, they said, had killed the Indian. But outside the courthouse, a group of men led by the Lone Ranger watched the progress of the trial with keen interest. We hear the masked man as he addresses one of his companions. 
Frisbee. They are. Are those witnesses the same ones who testified against you? Yes, they are. They had plenty to say against me, too. The same men? Yeah. The dirty rats. They're all being paid for that by Ben Bush. Just wait. I'd like to get in there and have my say. Not yet. Look, the jury's going out now. Markheim hasn't had his full say yet. Wait until the jury comes in. But strange. What's Markheim going to do? Wait and watch. <laughs> Ain't no one gets a square trial in this town. The sheriff himself is the biggest crook of all. Don't let yourself get here saying that. There's a jury coming back. That jury is a hanging one. Let's have it quiet here. Order in the court. Sheriff Crowley, you're acting as clerk. Go on and tend to business. Uh-huh. Hints of the jury? Have you reached a verdict? Well, let one of you stand up and tell it to the judge. And we, uh, we find the prisoner guilty of murder. Uh, Markham, you better stand up and face me so as I can sentence you. Uh, I'll stand. First of all, before you sentence me, Judge, I've got something to say. Well, make it short. In the first place, I'm charged of murdering a man that's not even proved to be dead. In the second place, not one of those witnesses saw the shooting. In the third place, my gun was not fired. And in the fourth place, before I'm through, you're all going to be sorry you had so much to say. What's the meaning of such talk? You're found guilty. And I'm not. Judge, there's plenty of crooks in this town. Maybe you're one of them, maybe you ain't. We'll find that out before another ten minutes goes by. What? Right now, friends of mine are coming into this courtroom. Keep everyone covered, boys. No one make a move. The masked man. There's Chief Larson, one of the escaped prisoners. Order! Order in this court! You're under arrest. No one is under arrest just yet. Slade, Frisbee. Bring in the Indian. We're coming. Look, look, look. All of you, be quiet. There's the other two fugitives. Order in this court. You can't run things in this high-handed way, even if you are holding two guns on us. Careful, that touch. We're covering everyone. All right, Mark. I'm take charge. Get this place quiet so I can talk. Quiet. Quiet, I tell you. That's better. For the time being, Sheriff, you can't arrest those fugitives because they've got you and all your men covered. All right. All right, Markheim. But you said the body of the man you shot wasn't on hand. Or what do you call the engine Frisbee and Slade brought in? I'd like to ask the witnesses if that's the man I'm said to have shot. Yes, it is. Do you agree with that banker, Bush? Yeah. What about you, Sheriff? It's him. Then, Judge, I'm not a murderer. Stand up, Toto. Me not shot, me not hurt. It's a double cross and frame up. That's what it is. Wait, I ain't done yet. Quiet in this room. Maybe that ain't the man you shot, Markheim. I didn't shoot anyone. Judge, the two men who just came in, Frisbee and Slade, were tried and found guilty in your court. Yes, that's right. And the witnesses against them was the same ones that appeared against me. Ain't that so, boys? Yes. Sure is. And the reason was, Bush stole the money they had in his bank. Then, with the help of the sheriff and lying witnesses, he framed them for murder. That ain't so. Ain't so, I tell you. Mark, I'm lying. Quiet, sheriff. You make a more noise. Me stopping you. Get away from me, Redskin. Let me ask you this, Banker Bush. Did I put cash in your bank? No, you did not. You heard that, Judge? Yeah, I heard it. Bush, you think you're safe in denying I put cash in your bank because you thought you got the slip of paper that would prove it. Well, all you got was a copy of that same. 
Here, Judge, is the paper with Ben Bush's signature on it. What about it, Judge? Is Mark Ham right? Oh, he, he seems to be. But never in my life have I seen anything like it. I ain't done yet, Judge. The masked man fired a shot. And I stayed where Tonto lay on the ground, waiting to see if I'd be framed. All them witnesses that said they seen the murder lied. Steve, you were watching Abe Gorman when the shot was fired. Where was he? Gorman was gambling in the cafe. Bless you. Slade, you were watching Lehman and Snyder when the shot was fired. Yeah, and they was calling on the widow Perkins. Mrs. Perkins will prove that. See here, Judge. Wait! Let me speak, Mark. I'm... Yes, Your Honor. You wondered if I was on the level. Well, you'll find out. Yeah? All it takes is a look at the faces of them lying witnesses to know the truth. Every one of them should be jailed for swearing away a man's life. That's it, that's it. But, Judge, that's for you, sir. And you, Bush. It looks like the murders Frisbee, Slade, and Larson have been charged with are still unsolved. And it looks like it's up to me to appoint a deputy sheriff to arrest you for investigation. One minute, Judge. Yeah? You needn't appoint anyone. The United States Marshal is here to take charge of things. He is? Where's he at? You know him as Markheim. He come here to frame up the bunch of us. I came here at the suggestion of the Lone Ranger. He and Tonto outlined a plan where I'd be bait for the trap to show the sheriff and his deputies up as scheming crooks. But where's the Lone Ranger? You mean that masked man is the Lone Ranger? That's about the size of it. Come, Tonto. Wait! Wait a minute, Lone Ranger! This town owes you a plenty. Stop him. I want to speak to him. It's due to him that this community will be safe for honest men. 